G'day, so I thought I'd do a bit of an update, there's going to be a scar there, and on the day I didn't do a police report because I didn't believe it would make any, any difference, and on the internet it says you don't have to make a statement, but the internet doesn't tell you that the cops won't do anything. I believe it's up to their discretion. I asked him at the time if he'd checked the camera because I figured the camera footage would be a much better recollection of what happened than a statement. And this is true. I mean, I ended up making a statement at the police station in my town and... I've, I've left bits out. Who knows? I mean, I didn't bother reading it because it was it's like a third-hand story by the time it's copied. I don't know why, if you're being charged, they video it, but if you're making a statement, you have to talk to a cop and the cop writes it down and the cop interjects and, you know, just can't keep up with the flow. Of the conversation so you have to constantly repeat yourself then you've got to repeat yourself because their interjection has got some sort of opinion behind it or something who knows um but it's it's bullshit especially because nothing was going to get done i need that stinking number otherwise i can't do anything i've got no proof uh, gonna, I've already spoken to a lawyer that said uh, this is a public liability thing, so I'm getting on to their public liability. But I needed the number, so I couldn't do anything till I had the number. Can't get any compensation for my clothes or medicine without the number. And I'll prick, I mean, Nick Byrne, he um, hasn't got back to me. When I made the statement, another liar called Bethany said, oh, you know, I'll, I'll get the number and I'll get back to you. Yeah, it never happened. You know, they're too busy, too busy doing nothing, especially in my town. No bloody crime there. They absolutely do nothing, you know, and they're only there a couple of days of the fortnight anyway to do nothing. You know, it's like a holiday. It's like, oh, who, who wants a break from Hamilton? Oh, I do. I'm a lazy fucker. Let me go. You know, they're just useless. I mean, when they're not useless, they're just bloody tyrannical assholes anyway. Like old Paul Robson, when I moved into town, kidnapped me and subjected me to hours of bloody verbal tirade and bullshit and lies and fucking crap to try and stop me from seeing someone that he had to and guess what that person's mother was really high in the police force and was good friends of somebody really high and he got his ass kicked and i've i've been told that he's not even a cop anymore he got sacked from where he got transferred to because they kicked him out of my town. I mean, the sergeant buddy hijacked me going to the supermarket. and But he couldn't even look at me when I told him what had happened. All he could do was kick the ground, you know, So because they thought, obviously, they're going to run me out of town because it's, a, it's my town. My town, I, don't, I never even lived here, I don't know, but I, I've got a fucking gun and a badge and I'll do what the fuck I want because I'm a fucking, well, I won't say that word because that's an insult to animals, but yeah. Anyway, the cops are shit. Nothing was happening. Old prick, I mean, Nick decided not to do anything. Because he's just a fucking piece of shit copper, you know. Some might get him with good intentions, but the police force is psychotic. They love causing pain and misery, destroying people's lives. You know, without the statement, there'd be no, no action. So 
if they do get caught, then they know I made a statement, which I, I don't care. I mean, fuck, they couldn't kill me the first time, the fucking losers, you know. I guess they'll get a knife next. But, you know, good luck. Better stab me good. But anyway, that's life. Cops are shit. The only one of Ballarat Cop. The best thing about Ballarat Cops. So I can't find it again because I'd make a video of, of the thing. But I've been looking. I read about Ballarat Police. So in 2015 and 2019, Ballarat Police Station had three times, three times the number of complaints than the next worst police station in Victoria, which I'd say was probably a, a place with a higher population. So, and three out of four complaints were for assault. So that's the coppers assaulting people just for fun, you know. Um, in Warnable, you get your neck broken for loud music, you know, by three thugs and the police force closed ranks, hid that. I'd hate to be Samantha Murphy's family because the cops here, are, they're not going to find her body. They're not, you know, and they didn't find the killer. The killer did himself in from word on the street. So anyway, that's life. And that's not what Ned Kelly said. Apparently, old Ned said, well, I guess it's come to this then because there were three reporters, two heard nothing, and one heard him say, well, I guess it's come to this then. So, but such is life.